Hello. In this next video, we're going to take a look at how to delete a purchase order receipt um, when the re purchase receipt is initially loaded in with the wrong quantities. All right. So to do this, let's start by entering in a purchase receipt. So we can come under Purchasing, Receipts, then Receipts. In here, we'll do our new button, specify our receiving site, then come over to our order selection tray, which shows you all open purchase orders for this receiving facility. Go ahead and choose a PO. Then we'll come over here and click on Create. Then the purchase receipt identification number is assigned to the record, and now we have two of these units received into stock. Now, so now at this point, let's say that this quantity received was in error. You know, maybe the quantity should only been, maybe one was received, or maybe the receipt as a whole just needs to be deleted. Now, there's a couple different ways we can accomplish that. One way would be to come over here and click on the delete button if it's available to you. Alternatively, if that's not available, if you come to the action button at the start of the line, you're going to come to this option here for change receipts. Then in here, we have our detailed stock section. I can come in here, update my quantity to one, come over here and do a save. It gives me a little... Um, info message saying that the quantity has been changed. I can say yes to that. And now my receipt has been updated for one unit. Alternatively, if I wanted to delete it through the change receipts, I could come in here, click on the action button at the start of this line, do a delete, come here and do a save. I get another info message saying that the total is now zero and the document is going to be deleted then I can click on yes. Okay, so there's a couple different strategies for uh, error handling um, when the warehouse had accidentally put a purchase receipt into the system. Okay, so I hope this video was of help to you. If so, I'd ask you to please remember to like and subscribe, and as always, feel free to inbox me if you have any questions.